This is Lesson 7 in Module 3, and in this lesson, we're going to be using place value to multiply a two-digit by one-digit number. Let's start with 2 times 23. And we're going to show this in a place value chart. And we're going to show 23 as two tens and three ones. And we're multiplying this two times. So we have a total of two 24s, two 23s, two times. We're going to write this problem vertically. And we count how many ones we have. And we have a total of six ones. That's our first partial product. And we see here we have four tens. Four tens is 40. We're counting, we're going to record that as our section, second partial product. When we add them together, we get 46. And we look here, we have 40 plus 6, we have 46. Let's try another one. 4 times 54. Again, let's draw a place value chart. And we're going to show 54 as 5 tens and 4 ones, 4 times. So we've shown 54 four times. Let's write the problem vertically. And we're first going to look at our ones. We have 4, 8, 12, 16 ones. So we're going to record that as a partial product. And then we're counting 5, 10, 15, 20 tens. And 20 tens equals 200. So we're going to record that as our second partial product. We're going to add these together. So our total product is 216. But we know from our work with place value that when we have 10 in a group, we can exchange them for the next highest place value unit. So we have 10 ones, and we're going to exchange that for 110, <clears throat> which leaves us six ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here we have 10 tens, which we can exchange for 100, and 10 more tens, which we can exchange for another 100, and then we have one 10 left, and we have two hundreds. So 200 plus 10 plus 6 gives us 216. Same as we got in the partial products model. Let's try another one. Let's do 5 times 42. And let's first show it in place value chart. So we're showing 42, which is four tens and two ones, and we're doing it five times. And writing it vertically, 42 times five. We first look at our ones, counting by twos, two, four, six, eight, ten. We have ten ones, so we count that is our first first partial product. In the tens, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 tens, which is 200. So if we add those together, we get 210. 
and let's see what happens with our place value chart. If we take the 10 ones and exchange them for 110, we're left with zero ones. If we take 10 tens and exchange them for 100, and another 10 tens and exchange them for 100, we're left with 110, two hundreds. So 200 plus 10 plus 0 is 210. So we can show this with both the partial products. method and also with place value chart. So we have two methods for solving these problems. So let's use these to help us solve our problem sets. Number one says represent the following expression with dis, regrouping as necessary, write a matching expression and recording the partial product vertically as shown below. So the first problem was 1 times 43. So 43 was represented as 4 tens and 3 ones. And we only did it one time. And we count up the number of ones, we have 3. And we count up the number of tens, we have 4 tens, which is 40. So when we add them together, we get 43. So pause the video and you try B. Okay, let's see how we did. We're showing 43, four tens, and three ones, and we're doing it two times. When we write our problem vertically, we first look at the ones. We have three ones two times, so we have a total of six ones. So we have two times three ones, and then in the tens column, we have four, eight, a total of 80, which is two times four tens. And when we add them together, we get 86. Same as here, 80 plus six. Try C. Okay, let's see, this one we had four tens and three ones, this time three times. And writing our problem vertically, we count our ones, we have nine. We count our tens and we have four, eight, 12 tens, 12 tens is 120. So when we add them together, we get 129. <clears throat> Nine ones can't be regrouped, but we have one group of tens that we can exchange for 100, leaving us two tens and 100. So we have 129. Okay, you try D. Okay, for this one, same thing. We have 43, this time four times. Writing it vertically and recording our pr partial products. When we count here, we have 12 ones. And we have 4, 8, 12, 16 tens. 16 times 10 is 160. Now we can regroup in our place value table. We can exchange 10 ones for 110 leaving us with two ones. We can regroup 10 ones for 100, leaving us seven tens, which is 70, and we have 100. And when we add them together, we also get 172. 
Okay, try 2A on your own. Okay, let's see this one. 36 would be three tens and, ten, and six ones. We're doing it two times. Thirty-six times two. When we count, we have twelve ones, and we have six tens, which is sixty. Regrouping in our ones, we have a group of ten that we can exchange for one ten here, leaving us with two ones. And now we count. We have. Seven tens, which is 70, and we get our 72. Try to B. So we have six tens and one one three times. Counting our ones, we have three. Counting our tens, we have six plus six is 12, plus six more is 18 tens, which is 180. We add them together. Our ones can't be regrouped, so we have three ones, but we can regroup 10 tens for 100 leaving us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens, which is 80 plus 100. And we have 183. And finally, try C by yourself. 84 is eight tens and four ones. And we're doing it four times. and writing our problem vertically. We count and we have 16 ones. And then we have eight plus eight more is 16 plus eight more. So we end up with a total of 32, eight more, a total of 32 tens. 32 tens, 320. We add those together. <clears throat> On our place value chart, we can re regroup one group of 10 ones for 110. And here we have one group of 10s we can exchange for 100. Another group of 10 tens we can exchange for 100. And a final group of 10 tens that we can exchange for 100 leaving us with one, two, three hundreds, three tens, I'm sorry. So that's 30 plus the two, plus the, six ones and three hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six is left. Add these together, we get 336. And that's the end of lesson seven.